Well, I'm back. I'm hunting rocks in southwestern Ontario. Couldn't take a video of the actual rock hounding because it's an active quarry and they really didn't want filming there. But I think I can show you some of the rocks. The first ones, spalerite. Some of them are like little rosettes. The host rock is a dollar stone or limestone. What I want to do, I think, is turn these into micro mounts. Now, some guys talk about ones, you know, the size of your little finger as being a good micro mount. To me, my definition is the smaller rocks I brought home. <laughs> and how do you know it's spalerite? Well, can't really judge by color. The Greeks actually called this a treacherous mineral because it looks, when it's dark like this, like galena, but there's no lead. This is actually very high in zinc and in economic quantities could be mined for the zinc. So first thing to do with any rocks that are collected is wash them off. Clean water. Dish soap for a while, and then we'll see what they look like. Oh, that is such a nice job. I should do my own teeth with this thing. <laughs> so these are the smaller rocks. As you can see, there's some spalerite, but there's parts of the rock which have nothing in it. So I'm just going to use a Dremel, take off some of the excess rock. I am going to leave that. See that little end there? That's a fossil. So I think we want to have this sitting up. I would say mission accomplished. What do you think? Nice. This one, I'm just going to level the bottom. Bueno, bueno. I gotta say, I like it just the way it is. That one, I'll just take a little bit of this ex excess off the bottom and call it quits. Quits. <laughs> Again, that one. Well, sometimes you can't improve on Mother Nature. This one, I guess I could zip it, cut it. Would that make it any better? Make it smaller. Get rid of the waste that's through here. Yeah, let's cut it. Well, that leaves us two rocks. But I think what I'd like to do is peel back some of these rock layers. And you could use a Dremel for that. 
like to do the same on this one but because I have it I think I'll use an air scribe see some black right there when this rock gets struck and cracked you can smell something kind of nasty and that's what it is it's hydrocarbon or bitmen one thing I will test if this rock had turned out good these scratches would look horrible so let's stick it just on spec into vinegar and see what happens. Three hours later, it's gone back to looking like just a regular rock. So, a short bath in vinegar won't harm the rock too much. I'm not going to do anything more with this rock. Let's look at the discards, the pieces that were cut off of it, and then move on to the last rock. We can see that it didn't lose much in the way of crystals. Maybe some really small ones that got knocked off. The rock just didn't have much, except for this one little piece which actually would make a nail size thumbnail. Done. And we'll feed it to the chipmunks and the little people. Ask me what this saw is. It's a folding saw. Well, the difficulty I had was I get excited because I see a little hole, I try to follow it through, and either I end up removing fossil like that, or sometimes even a little crystal. Well, let's stick this in vinegar, and then come back and take care of our scraps and see what it is that we perhaps lost. Even this one piece I set aside isn't wonderful. Let's clean this up. Feed the chipmunks and the little people. <laughs> Found some plates. And we're out of the vinegar. A cornucopia of crystals. There's my saffleurite. More there. Two different colors. And of course the bitmen. 
and fossil. It's a fossil. And right there, a little cube of fluoride. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, thank you for watching. Coming up in my next video should be some more rocks from the same site. That's fluorite. Here's a couple other pieces. Should be good. High five.